Thank you very much for making time. We're dealing with uh, people who are carrying heavy hearts. I'm one of those. Uh, we are uh, dealing with people who have to, um, you know, behave to like nothing is happening and be normal, yet they know that we are facing a, a challenge that is enormous in our country. And that's why we say to you, please help us feel better. We come to you to say, I'll oh, help us a little bit. Go ahead if you, if you have a message of, um, you know, a message make us feel better. Thank you so much, David. I know this is a difficult time, not only for us as a country, but for us in the world as well. So just for a few moments, I want to speak to us having hope instead of fear. The Bible tells us in the book of Romans 5, verse 5, mm -hmm. now hope does not disappoint because no. the love of God has been well, poured out you. in our heart by the Holy Spirit who has it's, given it's to us. Number, Sorry. This is a time as a people we should focus on having hope instead of allowing fear to grip our lives. Because what fear does, fear will paralyze you. Mm. Fear will cause you not to think for the future. Fear will cause you to always look behind and, and, and you can't see what is ahead of you. But hope will help us to focus on faith. The moment we have hope, the Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews 11.1, 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Mm. What is it that we are hoping for for now? We are hoping that our scientists, that our doctors are going to come up with something that will help our population. But for us people that believe, we're also hoping that our Heavenly Father will take control. The Bible says now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Mm. Now, faith will cause us to believe even in the midst of adversity. We are facing adversities at the moment. But when we have hope, we have faith, we know it's going to get better. Hope is a powerful motivator when it's coupled with fundamental change. Mm. It is important for us to know that once we have our hope in the Lord, no matter what comes our way, our trust is not only in our strength, but our trust is in the Lord. The Bible says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Mm -hmm. This is the time where we lift up our eyes to the hills because our help comes from the Lord. Now, hope will do five things for us, believers. Five things for us, listeners. Number one, hope will cause you to live. Mm. Hope is alive and lives in the place where devastation and despair is. At the moment we are facing devastation, at the moment we are facing despair, but don't lose heart, have hope. Hope looks ahead. Hopelessness looks around at the negative things that are going on now, but hope sees the change that is ahead of us. Mm. It is time for us nation it is time for us people to look for things that is ahead of us not only that but hope reaches hope reaches for what it sees ahead hope sees the resolution hope sees the solution mm. hope answer it's an answer when you have hope and not only that hope will encourage as a people, it is time that we need to encourage each other. Mm. It is time that we need to seek God in prayer. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and seek my face, I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. Not only that, hope will build you. Even in the midst of this epidemic, we as a people who must listen to the decree that our government has given, but not only listen and do nothing, we listen in our own private places. Let's begin to seek the face of the Lord in prayer. Mm. Because prayer will change things. Prayer changes things. This is what the Bible tells us in Isaiah 41 verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. These are the promises that our Heavenly Father gives us. During this time of uncertainties, fear not. Look to the Lord. Let's play our part. Let's pray. Let's help each other when help needs to be, the help is needed. Now, I started with a scripture that I said, now 
faith is the substance of things hoped for. Now, if you look at that word now, mm. if you turn now backward, you get the word won. So even in the midst of this epidemic, we have already won. Mm. There is a solution that lies ahead of us. Instead of despair, let's choose hope. Instead of hopelessness, let us know that our God will never leave us. He will never forsake us. Our God is already gone before us to make the crooked way straight. Mm. So instead of us living in fear, let hope arise, South Africa. Let hope arise, Africa. Let hope arise, the world, because the answer is already ahead of us. God bless you. Thank you very much. Wow. We need hope in this time. We appreciate the time you've given us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. May God bless you and wonderful work that you are doing. We appreciate it. Here's uh, Dr. Dumi says, My Rest, you on 2000. My rest.